The first nice day of spring is finally upon us here on the Elm Creek Hidden Ranch. The uh, Hidden Ranch on Elm Creek. Guys, things are coming together. We've got some properties. Still the cleanup on this side we haven't touched yet. There's lots of stuff to talk about because it's been a busy winter. It's been a smoking busy winter. I'll tell you all about it, all right? Let's get to work on this bitter batter. <laughs> The 45, 4755 all fired up. We gave her a, a really good once over this winter. We tore it all down and cleaned her all up. She is running like, you know what? I can't even, I can't even complain. I mean, it's an older tractor, but man, she's running good. This field, on the other hand, is not looking good at all. This is, this is, um, this is not good. Guys, this is not, not, not good at all. No, this is not good. You know what? It's nothing we can't handle, though. No, it's not bad, but it's not great either, is it? Now, the nice thing about this, it's out full sun. Everything else that's kind of back in our hidden ranch area back in there, of course, is kind of hidden away in the shadows. This here is, uh, drop that cultivator down. It's, it's wide open. So this is where I'm going to pull out some oats. We do need some oats for, uh, well, the ranch, of course. And, uh, this should be able to, uh, to help us out with all that, it looks like. I think this is going to be just perfect, to be honest with you guys. So we're going to till all this up. Oh, yeah. Struggle's real right now. Tilling her up. <laughs> this is going to take a little bit of work. You know what? It's a bit of a hillside, too. That John Deere's, she's having a bit of a fight. So as you guys know, we uh, we were kind of broke when we first started out the ranch. Uh, the winter was going to be a kind of a, a trial grounds for us, to be honest. It was, um, I was worried it was going to be hit or miss. You know what? We found a bunch of work out in the county here. A bunch of other farmers. We've been doing, it's been calf season. So we've been helping out with calfing a little bit here, making some extra cash. And things are looking pretty good. Maybe we're gonna be fine. No, I don't want to say we're not rich or anything. Let me let's, let's get this straight. I'm definitely not rich, guys. But you know what? We we made ends meet. We've actually done a lot of upgrades uh, to the the uh, the ranch yard there, the hidden ranch. And um, I haven't done anything up on the acreage side though. So the ranch is looking good. But well, up by that blue building up on the hillside there, there's an acreage up there. We haven't done anything up there yet, and we do need to get up there at some point. I'm just not really concerned with it right now. One step at a time, get the ranch all good to go, and then worry about everything else around it, right? Ranch is coming together. It's coming together, guys. Um, we could probably get some more horses if we wanted to right now, but we still got Trucker. Trucker's doing just fine, and you know what? Like I said, he's old. He's kind of ornery. Um, I don't know how he would deal with another horse in there. Uh, looks like we had someone uh, crash into the field here at some point in time. Fairly recently, too. Look at that. We got skid marks right through the middle of it. Huh. You know, surprisingly enough, it's tilling up real nice right now. I always thought this was going to be all packed down and kind of crusty, but, um, guys, we're not having any problem right now getting underneath the, uh, underneath the turf here and getting down into the, into the ground a little bit. A little a couple of rocks, as you can see, but nothing too, too crazy. Not too bad. So we're going to finish this off. I'm going to plant this right away. We're going to get in here. I'm going to put some oats down. Uh, you know what? It's the right time of year for that. So let's get the oats in the ground here and let this plant away. Maybe get, get some fertilizer on it uh, before, before too long as well. Then I don't have to worry about this until the fall, right? Get this done. And then we can go back and focus on the ranch. Plow dropped off. Let's pick up the cedar here. Now, we've already got this filled up. We had, Like I said, we had some time to service everything over the winter. So we're looking all good here. Let me just, uh, let's go latch this on. Yeah, she is all full and ready to go. Perfect. All right, let's go back down. Let's go put those oats in the ground. All right, plant her on. Let's lower that on down. Looks good. Let's go all the way down oh it's going in the field perfect so like i said this field here full sun so uh this is kind of the reason i could have put more hay down here i think we'll have enough hay for the time being off those little fields we'll see how that all works out we've been buying hay for the while, last while here guys and that's something i do need to fix uh that's something i can, hope i can fix today to be honest with you we'll see i've got stuff to take care of we're gonna go cut some grass cut some hay up right now as soon as we get this field done and i've got a i've got a baler i'm gonna pick up now, I've been told, at least, that it's it, I, I can have this baler. We'll see how this works out. You know what? We've been helping guys out in the, in the county here, like I said, and gotten some favors owned to us, so um, hopefully we can use that. There we go. That looks a lot better. You know what? We need to flatten out this or pack down this seed bed at some point in time. I may push down some of these stones a little bit, too. There's actually quite a bit of stones out here. I was a little caught off guard. So maybe if I can find a way to uh, scrounge together enough cash to maybe rent a roller or something we'll see uh, i got nothing right now on the budget for that so um we may have to live with it i don't know yet i don't even have a harvester to be perfectly honest so i need to rent that in as well i need to find a way to make some cash guys Speak, speaking of which speaking of which i told you i was getting some hay for uh well for trucker of course we need to get him some hay and well we've got those fields in here we've we're, they're already been out in the field and typically like I, what i've been saying i've been doing just giving him loose hay i want to bail these guys actually you can see right here look we got the hay all set up 
It's all been windrowed. It's it's ready to go. I just need to either bail it or pick it up. Um, and I'd like to get my mitts on a baler today. And that's kind of where we come in here. Like I said, we did some work for some friends. And uh, as payment, uh, they had an old baler and a trailer. I'm allowed to I'm allowed to take off. So I made a deal with them. We're getting a baler and a trailer off his hands. That should help us out with feeding trucker, hopefully. Yeah, she's a little tight back in here. I'd like to... Uh, eventually take that front field over and maybe make some storage up there for some some stuff once we move up to the acreage as well but like these fields here they're just really good for hay and that's really it there's not a lot of space here so as long as i get a little bit more food off these to store it like i said we've been feeding them loose hay and that, it's not like he's going to eat that much hay let's be honest but if i have a little bit extra we can sell that off we can maybe get an extra horse for him a little buddy for him i don't know yet we'll see so let's go pick up this this baler i already made the phone call it's over there it's 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 a nice farm guys i gotta show you this here let me just grab a little bit of fuel quickly first you know i was a little concerned guys i'm not gonna lie it was touch and go there for a bit but work has really come through we've been able to get work whenever we need to i mean i was probably you know if this truck would have broke down on me at one point this winter i think it would have been all over i think the dream would have been over i would have been i don't even know where i'd have been living down by the river in a van i guess maybe i was homeless before it was popular so now as long as we can keep going the way we have been, if we can keep on keep on making a little bit of cash here and there, you know what? We've expanded the farm a little bit. I mean, it's it's looking not too bad. The hidden ranch in here, guys. I mean, look at that. It's kind of picturesque. And if we can continue on this trend and maybe move up to the acreage soon, uh, get that done up a little bit. Who knows what we can do? Maybe we can get some money together and maybe buy some more property down here in the valley, somewhere in the flats. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, but... Let's go pick up this baler to start. I know I've got some high aspirations for where we are, but we never know. It could happen. You know, I think the big problem is when you're out here in the countryside and you see some of these massive farms that dot the landscape, you're just like, oh man, do whatever I like to have that. I mean, we've got wineries up on the hillsides here. I mean, it's it's kind of ridiculous. The amount of money that goes into a winery. Look at look at the grapes they got growing there. And then over here, look at this ranch they've got set up. Um, it's kind of it's kind of putting me to shame a little bit. Look at the size of this place. He's got farmlands, big, massive shops. Wow. Impressive. They're rich, you're poor. You want to get rich. So here's the farm, like I said, that uh, I was working on this spring, helping out with some calving. And uh, you know what? I'll just pull past. I think the uh, the baler's pulled in the back there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's actually right there on that flat deck. Perfect. He's got it all set up for me. That's awesome. Let's just pull in around. Yeah, see, he's got the round baler down there. They're putting rounds out for the cows. Um, the cattle, like I said, they got a, that's a quite a big cattle operation they got here. They got some heifers over here. They got some calves. Uh, not a bad little operation they got. But not much use for the extra baler, of course. They've got more than enough now. Let's scoot around the backside here. There we go. The old Massey Square baler on a flat deck. All ready to go for me. You know what? I gave him a, a good two weeks worth of work. <clears throat> so, um... I think that's a fairly decent trade. Yeah, and as as compensation, guys, I took the baler with a, with a flat deck. You know what? It's all good. I was just a ranch hand for a couple of days, really, in the grand scheme of things. So, uh, helping with the uh, helping with the cattle, guys. It's all good. So, let's get this thing loaded up, get it back to the farm, and uh, let's let's run some bales through it quickly. Oh yeah, let's test the old Ford up the hill. Make sure she's good. Like I said, if I ran into issues with this truck, I don't know where I'd be right now. This truck is really the last thing that's cold me together right now, but. You know what? She's running pretty good. Sounds rough, but uh, but she runs good. Sounds rough. Runs good. I'll take that any day. Now, if only I could find somebody to has a roller I can get rid of. Um, it'd be nice to, to be able to borrow that for a day. Not like I need it for that long. I need it for like an hour. Give, anyone got a roller I can borrow for about an hour? Uh, I don't want to really pay for one to rent, to be perfectly honest. But if I have to, I have to. All right, we'll just jam this in. Like I said, we don't have a lot of space here, guys. I'm always trying to just jam equipment around. And hide it wherever I can. Uh, let's get the fent out. And uh, we'll see if we can just drag this around. Pick up some bales. Should work alright, I think. You know what? This little fent, it's... The one thing nice about this compared to the 4755 is just it's a little bit more maneuverable, of course. Which is kind of key on this farm. Uh, this ranch, it's... Uh, we don't have a ton of space, of course. So, smaller equipment is always beneficial. Now, I hope these ramps can handle this little tractor. Just take her easy. Nice and easy. All the way back. Up we go. Nice. There we go. That should work right there. All right, guys. Let's. Um, I'm just gonna go take this right out. It's not like we have a lot of field space here to deal with. Let's just go to town and see if we can bail this up quickly. Uh, let's take this over to. What are you doing on my? Get out of my ranch. Uh, it's not a hiking trail. Let's go over to the small farm with the small field over on the far side here. And see trucker while we're at it. But uh, yeah, we'll start on the small field just just in case something happens. You never know, right? 
In we go. Bit of a tight fit. Let's lift the forks up so it can fit in here just a little bit easier in case I decide to hit the fence posts. There we go. That's all right. All right, guys. Looks good. Let's uh, fire this thing up and give her a test, shall we? All right. Shoots drop down. Hop back on in. All right. Turn PTO on. All right, guys. Looks all good. Let's drop down the pickup. And away we go. Nice and easy. All right. I don't hear any crunching or crackling noises or anything like that. Looks like it's running the way we would want and expect. Let's uh, let's keep on going up here. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Fence got enough, more than enough power for this. Not too worried about that. And uh, hopefully this is packing all right. We filled it with twine. Should be good, guys. We should be good. Oh, yeah. We're already dropping little bales off like it's nobody's business. Um, trucker, trucker, you got a deer back in your... I, I think he must be like a deer whisperer or something. It's always deer in his pen with him. Uh, looks good, guys. Perfect. We're getting lots of little bales off this. Or let's pick up the rest of this. Yeah, quite a few of these little guys. Not bad. We've got a, quite a few bales. Twine looks good. Bales look nice and solid. Awesome. All right. That's uh, that's the small field. Let's go over to the bigger field and take care of all that now as well. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now we're getting a straight line shot. Look at those little bales just pop out of there. Perfect. I was waiting for that. You know, couldn't quite get this straight line shot, of course, on that other field. It's a little bit too compact, but this one here, we're just pumping them out. Last pass already. Let's go uh, go grab the pickup truck, load these things up, and uh, I think we should be good for the day. Turn that off. Lift that up. Not, not bad. Oh, awesome. Look at those little bales. This is great. Trucker, you better be happy, buddy. You're getting lots of food. So not the best bale wagon in the world, but you know what? Um, Not the worst either. This is... uh. For what it is, let's throw it up on top. Oh, let's straighten this out. Come on, grab that bale. There we go. That looks better. Yeah, not bad at all, guys. This is actually working out pretty good. Let's go across the other side, grab the last bit of bales. Might as well close the gate up. Don't need to be going back in there for a bit. All right, guys, there you go. Let's uh, put that last one on. Oh, good throw. Darn it. No, no, no. Let's try it again. Slap it. Slap it in place. You know what? I, I think that's going to work. We'll just strap these on down. All right, one more. Nothing else. We'll just leave the front open so we can get in there. Cool. That'll work, guys. Look at that. That's a, that's a decent amount of bales. We got, what, 24 there? And we still got a few more left over. That's all, all right with me. Yeah, I think truckers should be happy for a while. We should have more than enough bales for the time being for them. We'll load the rest of these up in a bit here. But I think that'll do it for us today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Slap the like if you did. Of course, don't forget to subscribe. And I will catch you next time from the Hidden Ranch. The Elm, Elm Creek Hidden Ranch. Hey, hoppers. What are you doing down there? This is Glutch. Over and out.